There's a story in, in the end of Luke, the Gospel of Luke. And, and it's, it's two disciples who are walking on this road. They're going to a place called Emmaus. And it's after, just after Jesus has been crucified. And they're walking to Emmaus and they're sad. They're distraught. They're mourning the loss of the expectations that they had in their lives. They're mourning the loss of the expectations they had for Jesus. And they had to let go of that when Jesus died on the cross. And this story is a beautiful encounter between Jesus and his disciples as they are wrestling with the loss of their expectations. In my life, there have been many moments where my expectations died. It's debilitating, frustrating, and frightening to move past our expectations. But there are the way things go and the way we want them to go or the way we expect them to go. And often, the space in between is vast. But what happens when our expectations die? What happens when we are forced to let go of the way we think things should be? I would say something beautiful. The unexpected only happens when we are liberated from the way we think things should be and we begin to dream about the way things could be. That is what the disciples experienced on the road to Emmaus. They were mourning the loss of their expectations when Jesus shows up. I believe that as we reflect today together on the loss of our expectations, we will find ourselves liberated to dream new dreams in light of encountering the resurrected, the risen Jesus. Holy Saturday is the day before encountering the unexpected. It is the day of lost hope in our expectations. It is the day when we come face to face with the fact that it isn't going to be like we thought. But as the disciples experienced on the road to Emmaus, this loss paves the way for something new, something better, something unexpected.